Ikme to Modu and Ashikpa communities are now like a ghost town, with the aftermath of the violence still very visible. Many are already counting their losses, losses owed to a land dispute. Incessant harassment by Ashikpa people. Uh, on this land, driving the owners, the original owners of this land, driving them forcefully. Now, the family of uh, the present KBC, that is a sad family. They have now gone to court in respect of that parcel of land. So, that one is of Judas. <laughs> Until the, the High Court gives judgment, nobody can say is the owner of that land. That original Shepa market was established by people from Ipetumodu. The additional problem he created was that he said he wanted to destroy our market here. The market was established in 1944, even before the birth of many of us. And just of recent, about two years ago, he just, he just go to even on the land we are fighting for, it does clear a place and said he established a market there and making it the same day here, of which we consulted the owner and the owner said he should change the date. And up to now. now, he refused to change the date. Shops, schools, marketplaces, and residential houses are under lock and key. There's so much tension in the air, even with the presence of security operatives. I don't see in this modern age where a town can be destroyed for another town. It's not possible. It's no longer tenable. The government should come and give each and every one of us its boundary. They should see to the boundary demarcation. That is the first thing. The second thing is that they should tell to change the date of his market to another date. The market, they say, they don't want us uh, to attend. It is on the land of Ipetumodu. Perhaps the most painful part are the students who had to pay the price of living in the communities as their hostels were burnt down alongside their belongings. People with students staying around you are not safe, but it's just try and assist us so that there should be more security around this community. In the midst of all these turmoil, the government says it is doing everything to stem the situation and ensure that fleeing residents return to their residences. In the meantime, the police public relations officer, Oshun State Command, Folashadi Odoro, says 20 people are already in the police net over the crisis.